Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Financial Futures. Today, we're diving into a topic that's flying under the radar but deserves our urgent attention. It's a massive issue facing retirees that hardly anyone is talking about. Buckle up, because we're about to uncover some eye-opening details. Let's jump right in. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know we've covered Social Security extensively. But today, I want to shine a spotlight on another crucial program affecting retirees one with about 66 million enrollees and beneficiaries. And guess what? It's facing some serious financial woes that could spell trouble for millions of Americans. Surprisingly, this isn't making headlines like it should. But don't worry, I've got you covered with all the facts. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button below. It's totally free, and it ensures you never miss out on important updates and insights. Plus, smash that like button and share this video with your friends and family. Your support means the world to me. Alright, folks, let's talk Medicare. With approximately 66 million enrollees, Medicare is a lifeline for countless retirees. But here's the kicker it's facing a financial crisis of its own. While we often hear about Social Security's challenges, Medicare's predicament is flying under the radar. Here's the scoop. Now, before we delve deeper, let's break down the basics. Medicare consists of several parts, including Part A, hospitalization, Part B, doctor's visits, and Part D, prescriptions, among others. Today, our focus is on Medicare Part A, the crucial coverage for hospitalization. Here's where things get dicey. The Medicare Board of Trustees has sounded the alarm Medicare Part A is on track to run out of money in approximately four years. Yes, you heard that right. By 2028, this vital program could be strapped for cash, posing a monumental challenge for retirees across the nation. Now, let's ponder the repercussions of Medicare Part A financial woes. Picture this scenario. Medicare beneficiaries needing hospitalization may find themselves facing uncertain outcomes. With funds running dry, will the program be able to cover their medical expenses adequately? Or will retirees be left grappling with hefty bills and unmet health care needs? It's a troubling prospect, to say the least. With time ticking away, we're left with pressing questions and few answers. How will policymakers address Medicare's impending insolvency? Will tax hikes, benefit cuts, or other measures be on the table? And most importantly, how can we ensure that retirees receive the health care they deserve without breaking the bank? As we navigate this looming crisis, it's essential to recognize the gravity of the situation. With an aging population and mounting financial strains, the need for action is more urgent than ever. We owe it to current and future retirees to safeguard their health care security and financial well-being. But fear not, my friends, we're in this together. By staying informed, spreading awareness, and advocating for change, we can make a difference. So, let's keep the conversation going, share this video far and wide, and stand up for the rights of retirees everywhere. Now we're diving into a topic that affects millions of Americans their social security benefits. Whether it's retirement, disability, SSDI, survivor, spousal, or SSI benefits, we're covering it all. So, if you're curious about how much you could be getting, you're in the right place. Let's jump right in and explore the details. In this video, I'll be specifically focusing on all fixed-income beneficiaries, totaling well over 70 million individuals who rely on these monthly checks to make ends meet. We'll discuss some recent revelations about potential increases in benefits, and how they translate into real dollars in your pocket. After all, 
Who doesn't want to know if they're getting more money? Let's unravel the details together. Now, before we delve into the numbers, let's address the elephant in the room inflation. Over the past few years, Social Security benefits have struggled to keep pace with rapidly rising inflation. But don't just take my word for it I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let me know if you've felt the pinch of inflation on your fixed income. Reports, surveys, and studies have painted a grim picture fixed income beneficiaries have fallen behind as inflation erodes the purchasing power of their benefits. While we've seen some cost of living adjustments, colas, they haven't quite kept up with the real cost of living. In fact, a recent survey revealed that a whopping 66% of Social Security beneficiaries share this sentiment. But hey, I'm curious to hear your thoughts too, so don't hesitate to chime in. Now, let's get down to brass tacks the projections for the upcoming COLA. While the official announcement is still months away, recent developments suggest a potential 1.7% increase for 2025. Sure, it's not groundbreaking, but it's a slight uptick from earlier projections of 1.4%. Let's break down what this means in real terms. I've crunched the numbers for you, so let's see how these COLA projections translate into actual dollars in your pocket. Here's a breakdown for a $600 monthly benefit. A 1.7% COLA would mean an extra $10 per month, totaling $120 for the year. If you're receiving $700 monthly, that's a $12 increase per month, adding up to $144 annually. Likewise, a $800 monthly benefit would see a $14 bump, while $900 would increase by $15 monthly. For SSI beneficiaries receiving the maximum $943, a 1.7% increase translates to an extra $16 each month, totaling $192 for the year, and if you're getting $1,000 monthly, expect a $17 increase per month, amounting to $204 annually. Now, let's keep it real these increases may seem like a drop in the bucket, and that's because they are. While any raise is appreciated, it barely scratches the surface of rising living costs. With inflation on the rise, your dollar doesn't stretch as far as it used to, making these modest increases feel even smaller. Oh, but we're not done yet. Let's not forget about the Medicare Part B premium which tends to rise alongside inflation. If history repeats itself, we could be looking at a significant increase in premiums, further offsetting any COLA gains. It's a frustrating cycle, to say the least. While we're still months away from the official COLA announcement, it's crucial to stay informed and engaged. After all, it's your money, your benefit, your lifestyle. So, let's keep a close eye on developments and advocate for fair adjustments that reflect the true cost of living. Well, folks, that wraps up today's discussion. I hope you found it enlightening and insightful. If you have any questions, thoughts, or experiences to share, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things financial.